So you think you got what it takes to run a race? It's time to prove it. Let's get warmed up. We're gonna be doing jumping unicorns. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Everybody stand up, eyes on me. Take your right hand or left hand, put it on your head like so. This is gonna be your unicorn horn. And then your left hand you're gonna use to do jumping jacks. Ready, begin. Come on, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, stop. That was a great warm up. Take a breather and I'll see you in five. Wow, run coach Rob is one tough trainer. Hey Sea of Kids, I'm Gabby. And I'm Michael. And as you can see, we are in a brand new series called 5K Run the Race. So naturally, I've signed us up for Stop for Llamas 5K Run. Wait a minute, stop right there. What do you mean naturally you signed us up for Stop the Llamas 5K? I don't even think that run exists, Gabby. It does. Bruce sent me the information about Stop for Llamas 5K. Where do you even stop for llamas? Everything about this sounds very suspicious, but I'm sure Bruce will be happy. Mm -hmm. Anyways, shouldn't we start uh, training? Yeah. Training for a race or a sport or really any kind of event requires hard work. And as they say, no pain, no gain. Ouch, yes. I can remember when I was in the fifth grade studying for a spelling bee. Oh. Ooh, I had paper cuts everywhere, Gabby. Cantankers, cantankers. Okay. C-A-N-T-A-N-K-E-R-O-U-S, cantankers. Huh, now that was some hard work and it took weeks to learn all those words and days to heal all those paper cuts. <laughs> so did you win? Oh yeah, I got a small little trophy, but oh. I don't have it anymore. I actually sold it in a garage sale years ago. What? Who would buy someone else's trophy? I don't know. You Please? know what? <laughs> not important. See if kids believe it or not, we are all runners in a race. Wait a minute. Stop the press. Did you sign up all the see if kids for this fake stop for llamas race? Michael, the race isn't fake, but no. That's not what I meant. What I meant was that being a follower of Jesus is like being a runner in a race. Okay, okay, I can see that. Just like how you train your body for a physical race mm -hmm. so you can do well, yep. well, we can practice spiritual discipline so it can help us in our walk with God. Exactly. And Michael, if we want to do good with our 5K Stop for Llamas, then we need to continue our training. So, we already did our warm up with Coach Rob, and so next on our checklist is pig races. Aha! Wait a minute. What does that have to do anything with this 5K run? I don't know, but let's see. All right. <laughs>
and pig one, Gabby. Woohoo! Wait, I still don't understand what this matters for the race. I mean, what else is on this checklist? Ooh, dance offs. Oh, I like dance offs. Me too. Let's rumble! Gabby and Michael, what are you doing? Where did you get that 5K training list? A llama convention? We need to practice what matters most. So let's get into running shape. It's time for agility drills. Everybody stand up. That's right, I'm talking to you. You know, you know. Let's get those knees up nice and high like this. All right, ready? Go, let's go, keep it up. No pain, no gain. Let's go, let's go. I see you, keep believing, I know. Come on, let's go. All right, all right. You can stop now. All right, that wasn't that bad. Now we're gonna try that drill again, but this time we also need to say our memory verse. So listen up, here it is. Training the body has some value, but being godly has value in every way. It promises help for the life you are now living and the life to come. 1 Timothy 4.8. Ready to try it? Go, go, go! Come on, CF kids, lift those knees higher. Say that verse louder. Come on, I see you, I believe in you. Come on, keep going, keep going. No pain, no gain, son. No pain, no gain, son. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, CF kids, and rest. Just like we train our bodies physically, we need to train our minds by memorizing verses from the Bible. So let's train our minds this month and memorize this verse. You'll want to memorize it so you can check it off your 5K medal challenge card. That was some great agility training. Catch your breath and prepare for some more drills ahead. Oof. Wow, a few more sessions with Coach Rob and I think we're really gonna be ready for the 5K Stop for Llamas run. Gabby, again, I don't think that's an actual 5K, but it doesn't matter. I'm training to win. Well, me too. You know, that's what we're supposed to do. It's in the Bible. No way. For real? Yeah. It's in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24. Huh. Paul says, do you not know that in a race, all runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. You know what? I knew it. It's like my good friend Bobby said it. If you win first, you last. But anyways, Michael, <laughs> that's not the point here or the point that Paul was trying to make. But he did go on to say a little bit more about running a race in his letter. Check this out. This is Paul. Oh, hey. Who told people about Jesus in lots of different places. Yeah. Paul also wrote letters to the different churches that he had visited while he was away from them. In Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, he wrote to them about discipline. Hmm. He said, don't you realize that in a race everyone runs, but only one person gets the prize? Woohoo! So run to win. All athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away. Mm -hmm. But we do it for an eternal prize. Mm -hmm. So I run with purpose in every step. I'm not just shadow boxing. I discipline my body like an athlete, training it to do what it should. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, I myself might be disqualified. Paul wrote many more things to the Corinthians in his letters to encourage them and help to keep them on track as they learned more about God. See if kids, life is like a race or a box of chocolates. Um. Okay, sorry. It's, it's like a race. <laughs> yes, and we are all runners in the race. So we must train continuously because we know that at the end of the race, we will get a prize. Ta-da! Now the difference is that in a regular race or like my spelling bee, the prize doesn't last. But in a Christian walk, well, the prize is a crown that lasts forever. So how do we train for this race? Easy, keep practicing what matters most. Now what that means is practicing spiritual disciplines like praying, reading the Bible, sharing your faith, memorizing Bible verses. Well, you guys get the point. 
Don't worry, CF Kids, we'll unpack each spiritual discipline in the weeks to come. But for now, how about we practice one of them? Oh, I think I know where you're going with this one. Yeah. Let's, Let's worship! worship.
need you here with me oh. And you're never gonna stop, never gonna stop And you're never gonna stop, never gonna stop SGA and welcome to some good announcements. It's been a few weeks since we've been live in the studio as we were out reporting from this really incredible llama convention. But here we are back ready to share some important information. Stephanie, take it away. Hello everyone, my name is Stephanie and I'm bringing you the family mission for the month of May. See if kids love teachers. Show some love for your teachers and all the hard work they do by giving them a thank you card and serve them all month long. You can download your card at zfmiami.org slash parents. Get creative and show your teachers some love. Thank you, Stephanie. In other news, for this series, we have a really fun challenge card. But it's really not like a challenge card. It's more like a challenge medal. Boom! Also, if you complete five out of the six challenges, you will receive an exclusive 5K mystery pack. That's all for SGA. Some good announcements. Mom, I got it right this time. It's cool down time, people. See if kids, follow me. Stretch your arm across your body like this. Great, great job, everybody. One very important part of training is stretching and cooling down. And as we do, let's recap. Today's bottom line was practicing what matters most. If you're training for a 5K, what matters most is strengthening your running skills. If you're a follower of Jesus, what matters most is practicing spiritual disciplines. Switch your arm. This month's memory verse is found in 1 Timothy 4.8. Training the body has some value, but being godly has value in every way. It promises help for the life you are now living and the life to come. Let's go up top. And finally, we are still not sure if the Stop for Llamas 5K is an actual thing. But okay, Gabby. Either way, we're still going to train hard. So come on, CF kids. I am exhausted with all this training and it's got me so hungry. Me too. Well, see if kids get ready because this month there is more training to come. Don't miss out on a single training week. I wouldn't want you to fall behind and miss getting ready for the Stop for Llamas 5K run. Or miss out on practicing what matters most, our spiritual disciplines. Yeah, that too, for sure. All right, see if kids, let's pray and we'll see you next week. All right, let's do it. Thank you, God, for this beautiful day you have given us. Thank you for this opportunity to be reminded that we are called to practice what matters most, which is those spiritual disciplines, God. Help us this week. Help us throughout today, God. Bless every single family that is, that is watching us right now. In your name we pray. Amen. Bye, Bye. see you, kids.